Okay, here at the Green Desert, one of the things we like to do is stay self-sufficient as possible. So I'm here with Greg, and he's gonna show us a unique way to feed our chickens and fish with stuff he can provide on his property. Mr. Greg, how do you hey. make these black fly harvester? So this is black soldier flies. These are soldier fly larvas, and you can see how they're climbing. The cool thing about them is they self-harvest. So it's actually a really simple process. First of all, you take your chicken scraps. First of all, you take your kitchen scraps. Kitchen scraps, okay. <laughs> also chicken scraps. Okay, right. And you put them in a bin. Uh, and this is this particular kind of bin. It's a soldier fly bin. And you'll notice the ramps on both ends of it. Yeah. So what happens is, is the soldier fly larva consume the kitchen scraps mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. at some point in their life when they get to this point right here yeah they want to climb up and out of the muck ah, ah. so so what they do is they climb up and out of the muck into a bucket so this is what they look like when they're really active uh, and I put in and you can smell them too I put in kitchen scraps in this thing pretty much every day. And at the end of this puppy is a ramp. You can see how it ramps up just like that. And then when they're ready to get out of the muck, they self-harvest. So you can see a few in the bucket right there. And I usually get a cup or two a day of these out of this small bin. And then I just feed them to the chickens. It's that simple. I do have a question. So how does the, the black flies find these harvests? Where do they show up from? Yeah. Well, the cool thing about them is they're just here. You know, just like house flies, yeah. they're around. Oh, Soldier okay. flies are just around. And when they see the food scraps rotting, they go in, they lay their eggs, and then the, you know they hatch, and the whole process happens. Okay. It's really, it's, it's really super easy. So in this bin, this bin, you were saying that it was, it didn't work as well as this one because this one was drier. Yeah. It wasn't as moist, so, so you have to keep them moist. Yeah. So what I'm finding is, is that the soldier flies really love the muck and the mire. So uh, this one seems to dry out too quickly. It doesn't do nearly as well as the smaller one here. So this is an excellent, excellent way of self-sufficiency. Yep. Saves you money. Easy to harvest. Easy to harvest. It's almost like a no-brainer, and it's organic and it's healthy. It really is. Chickens love them. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Chickens love yeah. them. It's our break dance in this Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, if you guys have any videos or any comments, please share and let us know if you have any other ideas. You're the man, Greg. You are the man. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs>